Today Mickey went to prison, but when they were walking him to the paddle wagon, he told me to take care of his dogs, and when the time came to do it, their tombstones like he told me, then he whispered to me to look under the Victoria in the speakeasy at Moon Lake. He said he'd, I'd find the map to the gold he stole two years ago. Then they shoved him into the wagon, and that was that. Poor Mickey. I was a guy who never spent one night in jail, supposed to spend eight years in prison. He'll never make it. I think he wants me to have his gold, because deep down, he knows he's never coming home. Anyway, I looked under the Victoria and found the map. The problem is there's nothing on it except a bunch of lines and a words. The dogs will lead the way. There's no X marking the spot or directions or nothing. But I need money bad. My wife and baby haven't... E baby. Acres. Jeff Acres. I'm assuming. Haven't eaten it decent in months. So I'm going to pack them up and move to Moon Lake permanently so I can spend all my time looking for the gold. Mickey never told me outright that he was the guy who p pulled off the hole-in-the-floor gold heist. He always said the less I knew, the healthier I'd stay. But according to the papers, a bunch of gold was stolen off a moving train right under the noses of all of the dozen Pinkertons. I'm assuming that's a f fancy name for police. Mickey must have greased someone's palm real good and got him to cut, uh, got him to cut a hole in the floor, and of the box car the gold was going to be shipped in. After the, after the gold was lo loaded, one of the boys crawling under the train and pulled himself into the box car. Then, when the train train was moving, he dropped the gold down the hole onto the tracks. Mickey's boys picked it up and got away cl clean. Nobody ever suspected Mickey was behind it. Hi, hi, Mickey! Sorry. Uh, so what I'm looking for is 20 gold bars. The papers said altogether they weighed about 600 pounds. The question is, did Mickey hide them in one place or did he spread them around? He must have buried them, but where? I just thought of something. Maybe Mickey trained his dogs to go to the gold if you said the right word. I'm going to try saying gold to them tomorrow and see what happens. I've said every word I can think of to the, to all the dogs, but they haven't led me anywhere except in circles. I've spent the last month following them around, first Xander, then Vitrus, then Lucy. I don't have to follow Iggy because he all he does is sleep on the porch. So it looks like I'm going to have to start digging. I'll dig under the por eh, porch first. Seems as that's where Iggy's always is. A month ago, I started working as handyman over in Lewistown to make ends meet. So even though I, though I stopped at by Mickey's, ev Mickey's every day to feed the dogs, I can only look for the gold at night. I dug all around under the porch, but didn't find it nothing. I marked the porch on the map. Joe Akers? Emily said Jeff Akers' father was named Joe. Maybe Jeff is related to William Akers after all on the map with a big eye for Iggy, because that's the place he always leads me to. I was so biggie, busy digging last night that I almost wasn't there when my son was, was born. What? Tuesday. Last Tuesday night, I almost wasn't there when my son was born. We're calling him Joe. His big sister is really happy. He says baby Joe is going, is just like the doll he, she want, always wanted, but we couldn't could never afford to get her. Truth is, we can't afford to... We can't really afford Joe, neither. I keep writing to Mickey, asking him to tell me straight out where the gold is. But he never writes back. I'll just have to keep digging. Leave her with prison. Leave her word 48, Kansas. September 9th, 1935. Now I spend all my free time digging in the woods. I dig around everything that could be a landmark. Logs, rocks, tree stumps, but I never find nothing. Plus, I keep getting lost. The paths look so much alike, especially at night, and that's when I spend most of my time trying to figure out where I am. Last Sunday, I memorized the way to the cemetery. It's 
Left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right. Uh, you guys get the idea. Yeah, why would he say that unless if we were supposed to memorize that? Except for we got a map, and we probably already found the map by yeah. now. Even though Mickey never allowed the dogs in the speakeasy or the tunnels, I've been looking there for the gold because I've looked everywhere else. I can think of everywhere else I can think of and got nowhere. Last week I found that Mickey changed the passcode to this big gots to, in the speakeasy. This got my hopes up because the way I figure it, why would Mickey change his code without telling me unless he was hiding something? But when I finally figured out the new code, I didn't find nothing in the tunnel that opened up that wasn't there before. Why would Mickey spend all that money on pictures of those dogs of his? I'll never understand. The pictures we did. And that. Ooh. I gave up. Mickey's dead and so are all of his dogs. I'll never find the gold. I got a good job offer over at Harrodsburg and I'm gonna take it. Little Joe and Sarah deserve a better life than they've gotten so far. And it's high time Cal Callie got a nice hu house and a husband who isn't, who doesn't spend all of his time chasing after something he can't find. But I'm leaving this journal behind here. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll re suddenly remember something Mickey said. It'll finally hit me where he had hid the gold. Maybe I'll come back here and find it after all. But in the meantime, I got my family. That's one important. They're treasure enough. Wow, that's touching. Thank you, Willy Makers. All right, here's the map. The dogs will lead the way. I wonder what that means. That's Iggy. Iggy goes there. That's really interesting. Oh, flashlight. I was gonna say, did everything just go dark? Okay, good. All right. So we finally know at least a good majority of the story. I never got to that far. You said you almost got to the end. I did. I just never found that. How'd you get that far? I didn't follow the story. I got the camouflage. I found out a secret, and I got to almost the end of the game, which I still don't know how to get past. And then I quit out of rage without forgetting to save, and now I need to do it all over again, if I ever do play this game again. Dogs will lead the way. What's that? That's the shed. Oh, the beeping shed. I hate it. You don't understand once you get to where I am. Oh, no, no, no. You don't understand when I get to where I am, how, why I hate the shed. Okay, go back. Go down. Turn around. Go up. Can I? Sure. Thank you. Uh, how do you? Oh, that's how you it. Oh, that's what it was. That explains it. What's the name? I guess not. Oh, you can't look for bugs under that rock either. What if there's any bugs in here? 
I doubt it. So, shall I go back to using my cheat sheet? Because as much as I love to do these games blind, when it gets so hard that even I can't figure it out, it's time to use a little... Try to find where you find the box. Read all the pages. Sure. Nancy learns that a speakeasy was located somewhere on the property. She also picks up a local map of the area surrounding Sally Malone's place. What's that in Put it back in the safe. Go. Put the gloves back. Blah, 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 blah. Exit the set. cellar via stairs that lead back in the Look too rotten. It's a cricket anyway. Then why is it bug? Do you think it's a bug? Yeah, it's a cricket. No, I mean one of those bugs. Maybe, but I never found it. Cause I never went down there. Well, anyway. Judging from what I was able to read, I think I'm supposed to do this. Let's go talk with Jeff Akers again. Maybe he knows something. I'm saying, try to find all the bugs. But you don't listen. The bugs or the glitches? The bugs. Good news. I have information on your mystery woman. Thank you so much. Is she still alive? Her name these days is Vivian Whitmore. She lives in Las Vegas, and her number is 702-555-9137. Wow. What do you know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I understand he used to be the deputy here. So? According to Emily Griffin, Deputy Joe Akers was your father. And according to the journal I found, William Akers' son was named Joe. Another coincidence? All right, all right. William Akers was my grandfather. Why didn't you tell me that before? It's not exactly something I'm proud of. My father spent his whole life trying to make people forget what my grandfather was and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same thing. What did William Akers do after Malone was arrested? I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, Miss Drew. In case you've forgotten, I'm a very busy man. Daddy! I apologize for my previous behavior. As a park ranger, I strive to keep my personal feelings in check at all times, and that time I failed. It's my duty as a public servant to try to make it up to you. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the gold that Malone supposedly buried on his property? As far as I know, it doesn't exist. It's just one of those rumors people want to believe, so they do. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Hmm, I'm still not so sure about that guy. Yep. Let's see what Aunt M can cook up for us. Aunt M? Who's 
Seriously, Rory, can't remember from last time? Howdy, Nancy. I found an old newspaper in Sally's house that contained an article on Mickey Malone. It really got my curiosity going. What else can you tell me about him? Person you should talk to is Jeff Akers. He's got this historical museum thing going out at that ranger station of his. <laughs> Do you know anything about the gold that Mickey Malone supposedly buried somewhere on his property? All I got to say about it is, if there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere and nobody ever found it, it's for darn sure nobody ever will. Not with them dogs up there. Guess I'll see you later. Keep on trucking. Howdy, Nancy. Guess I'll see you later. Keep on trucking. But we don't have a truck. Uh -huh. Oh no. We can't keep trucking if we don't have a truck. What are we gonna? Yeah, I deserve that. Ow, 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 ow. Since we ow, don't gotta get ow, ow, I'll just tell ow, you, I'm ow, hitting my ow, brother. Ow, 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 stop. And that's illegal since there is such a thing as child abuse, but nothing called uh, brother abuse. I'm joking. No, I'm not abusing. Well, there's no such thing as brother abuse. Bong. You're lucky you didn't hit me or I'd be telling mom when she got home. Bong. Again, lucky you weren't slap, hitting me. Slap, slap, slap. You're really close to hitting me. You're hitting me with air. Bong slap. Bong slap. <laughs> Again, you're hitting me with air. Slap so bong. Slap bong. If you one slip up and I'm telling mom, you know.